What's up guys, we are back for another video and this is not so much a review as it is just a sort of a pseudo unboxing. Uh, me just kind of showing off something cool that I got recently that kind of ties into the toy thing and if you follow enough of my ramblings or my social media posts or stuff like that, you know that I also like breakfast cereal to a ridiculous degree and you know this ties into that as well. But it also goes as a way for me to kind of showcase something from a creator that I am a big fan of. I'm wearing one of his shirts right now. So we've got the 8-Bit Zombie Thrash War shirt uh, right now. And if you've seen some of my other videos, I get a lot of questions about some shirts that I wear from time to time. One of them in particular is his, uh, and I don't I don't know if it's available anymore or not. It might be in the future. Keep an eye out. Uh, the 8-Bit Zombie, it's the like mishmash of action figures shirt. So it's got Skeletor's head, Lino's arm, uh, you know, it's got like a TMNT leg, stuff like that. I get tons of questions every time. Actually, every time I post a video with that shirt on, somebody asks me where I got it from. And then there's also the Choose Your Own Adventure style shirt that I got recently. Uh, it's a white shirt, but it's like one of those old school Choose Your Own Adventure book covers, but it's got like Mumra and uh, Skeletor on it. So it definitely plays into my interests. And this plays into that very much. So the whole serial aspect, the vintage cartoons, toys, and you know, I just couldn't pass this up. So I had to buy it. I will say this thing's kind of on the pricey side, but it's a boutique item. It's very well made. And in general, it you know it was just something that I had to have. So it might be a little higher on price point than you might expect, but uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. So we're looking at this today real quick. This is the 8-Bit Zombie breakfast box. Well, you might be saying, well, that's a lunch box, but it is, but it's also the breakfast box because this thing plays into the idea of sitting in front of the TV, eating a bowl of cereal, Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, so it's a breakfast box. I mean, it's a lunch box, but he wanted to call it a breakfast box, and I am not going to dispute that. We've got a beautiful image here, and this is obviously the big draw for me in particular. So let's run through who's on this, who's showcased on this thing. we got Shredder, Toucan Sam, Captain Crunch, Count Chocula, Jim, Lion-O, front and center. You got me there. Skeletor. Denver the Last Dinosaur. Now that is something you do not see very often. Uh, we've got Cobra Commander. We have got Diggum. And then we've got the Sugar Smacks Bear. And I don't, does he have a name? If he does, I don't know it. It's Sugar Smacks Bear. And then we got the 8-Bit Zombie logo down there. So, pretty cool. I will put a link down below to the store where you can check this thing out. Uh, I will place a little caveat on this. I've got the red one. There's a green one and a blue one. I got the last red one. And the green one, I believe, also sold out the day they went up. And they just went up a few days ago as of this recording. And I think the blue is still available. So if it is and you want to get it, now's your chance. Don't wait for it to you know, go on sale or just don't wait any in any capacity because it's not going to last. Uh, I don't think it's going to last at all. Like I said, I got the last red one, so feast your eyes. But, uh, you know, let's pop into this thing. And I got to say real quick, this thing is pretty robust, too. It's very well made. It seems very thick and sturdy. Uh, it just, it's very clean. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, it's a brand new item, but it seems very clean, if that makes any sense. It's just very, presentation on it is very nice. So let's open it up, and we've got a bunch of stuff in here um, to kind of go along with the theme. This is the first thing, and it's not something that I think I'm going to use myself. I don't drink coffee, so uh, hmm, my wife probably will. So we've got the 8-Bit Zombie mug, and it's the same image but it's just done up in uh, in a coffee mug, so you can see them all in there, and they're crashing through a TV screen. So it's a solid mug. It's a mug. We've got a kind of uh, dumbed-down version of the image in a sticker form with kind of like the greatest hits on there. Lionel's on it. That's all you need for me to sell me on that. We have got this guy here. This is the Saturday Morning Cartoon Club patch. I'm not a big patch guy. Um, you know, I get them every now and then in various things. I keep them. Not sure if I'm ever going to do anything with them, but this one's pretty cool. It's got Frankenberry on it. I mean, monster cereal. You can't go wrong there. I think you can buy those individually. And then this, as far as the included items, this is the thing that, uh, that drew me in. So if you've seen my uh, cereal reviews for the Funko cereal, I did the uh, Freddy Krueger and I did the Thundercats one. Thundercats, I used a Star Wars bowl. But in the Freddy Krueger one, I used a 30... Well, I mean, as old as I am, a 34-year-old Care Bears bowl that looks strikingly similar to this style. This kind of wide, shallow bowl. So that was a nostalgia thing right then and there. But this image is emblazoned on the bottom. So we've got, you know, Lino front and center. It's a Lino cereal bowl. As far as I'm concerned, that's what it is. Uh, the other the other characters are just kind of icing on uh, the Thundercat cake for me. So 
This thing is pretty amazing. I don't know that I can ever bring myself to use it though. I'm worried I'm going to scratch it up. That said, my Care Bears bowl has been in use for 34 years and still looks pretty decent. But I don't think I can, re I can replace this if I ruin it. So did I buy a bowl to use or did I buy my first collectible? I don't know. Who knows? And then um, we've got a few other things. He always includes uh, a little baggie with little tchotchkes, little things in them. And sometimes they're, some are better than others. But we've got some pretty cool stuff in here. And I figure we'll run through them real quick. There's always little buttons, and then there are stickers and like vintage trading cards. So we have got the first one is an 8 bit uh, NES Jason from uh, Friday the 13th. We have got Skeletor. This is the same image that's on the bowl and on all the artwork. We got uh, my boy Frankenberry, although I gotta say I'm more of a Booberry guy. We have got a 8 bit style pumpkin. Tis the season after all. And then, of course, I mean, this is the one that truly matters. Lino. We've got some, let's see what kind of trading cards are in here real quick. I, I love this kind of stuff. This kind of goofy old trading cards. He always includes a, uh, I think he always includes one of these. Is like a thank you card. It's like a Garbage Pail Kid style card, but for 8-Bit Zombie itself. We have got, I don't know what this is. This is... Something. It's a Soviets versus Demetrodon's dinosaur card. I've never seen one of these before. Or, I, you know, what am I saying? I probably have. I just don't remember what it is. We've got a Goonies uh, card where Chunk meets Sloth. We've got an A-Team card. And then we have got a very, very goofy uh, He-Man card where it's just uh, like some electrodes zapping something. What a weird card. That's kind of be like the most boring one in the set. Uh, we got some uh, stickers as well. So this is the uh, the eight bit zombie logo. It's a uh, you know it's a power glove with like a skeleton hand, which it's a cool logo. What are you gonna say? We've got uh, another eight bit zombie uh, sticker. We have got the uh, big big thrash sticker here, and then we've got kind of a Ness Mad Balls. That's pretty sweet, but. This is definitely some icing on the cake as far as I'm concerned. We have got a Hordak Slime Pit sticker. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. This is definitely getting plastered somewhere in the toy room for sure. That's amazing, that's fantastic. That, when I saw this, I knew that this whole purchase was absolutely worth it. So there you go, guys. Uh, just a quick little run through on this thing. I know it's not a toy, but it's kind of toy related if you're into the same kind of stuff that I am. Again, I just wanted to give him a shout out because I, I really dig his stuff. This was not a paid promotion or anything. I know I'm kind of decked out in his gear, but I bought everything. I bought the shirt. I bought this guy. Uh, I continue to support him. 8-Bit Zombie, check him out. Again, I will put a link down below if you want to if you want to check this stuff out. And if the blue one is still available when you're watching this, don't sleep on it. It's not going to last. Get it while you can. It's a cool product. So that's going to do it, guys. I'll catch you later.